How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot Horizon 4 once again. Update 27 has finally sort of arrived to Foot Horizon 4. Just finished watching the live stream and I've gathered all the information you need to know about Update 27, which was releasing this week, including some new cars which are releasing this Thursday onwards. Now I'd like to plug something else, I don't do this very often, but if you have Instagram, please do consider following me on there. If you're interested in seeing pictures of my real life cars, which include a Rocket Bunny 350Z as seen on screen, go and follow me on Instagram. I don't plug it very often. So there are four new cars this month, a couple of the new features and a couple of the new car packs. Pretty cool month to be honest. So before we get into it, I would like to say if this video does help you out, please do consider clicking subscribe on my channel. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with the new festival playlist which starts on Thursday which includes the new cars. So for the whole series starting on Thursday for 50% you can get the Megane RS from 2018 and from 80% you can get the ATS GT from 2018. Now the first week which is summer for 50% which starts on Thursday by the way for 50% you can get the Rimac Concept 2 and then for 80% you can get the Apollo IE and then in an exclusive championship, you can get the first new car of this week, the Nissan 370Z64 Formula Drift Edition on screen. This is through an exclusive championship on Thursday for the next week. Then in autumn, which is the second week, so next Thursday, for 50% completion, you can get the 777 Corvette um, Formula Drift as seen. And then for 80%, you can get the Toyota 2000 GT. Now in autumn as well, through an exclusive championship, you can get the second new car of this month, the Lexus RCF. Again, that is next Thursday. Now on to winter, which is two Thursdays from now. For 50%, you can get the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, that's returning. And then for 80%, the Ferrari 250 GT. And then through an exclusive championship, you can get the Chevy Impala 96, which for some reason, was marked as a new exclusive car on the live stream but as far as I know it's not a new car so I might be wrong let me know in the description is that a new car I googled it and it seemed to already be in the game so I think that's a mistake so as far as I'm aware winter does not have any new cars now on to spring which is the last week of this next month if that makes sense <laughs> For 50% completion, you can get the third new car, the Lexus ISF, as seen on screen. And then for 80%, you can get the Maserati 8CF, I believe it was. And then on the same week, through an exclusive championship, you can get the Toyota GT86. This is the second new car for that same week, so spring is definitely to look forward to. So that's the festival playlist and that's all the new cars. However, we have something cool, a new feature to talk about, which is also releasing this update. They are adding a new sort of game mode called the Drag Run. And this is basically for people who love drag racing but absolutely hate the loading screens of having to load in and then load back out every single race. Basically, the Drag Run is a game mode where you can play drag races really quickly. You'll get thrown into a drag race and you get to drag race three times and instead of kicking it back you to the festival, it clicks you back to a menu where you can change your car and then drag race again without all the loading screens. It's basically just a, a better drag race kind of game mode. It works at every drag strip on the map and there's just no loading screens in it at all. It's so much quicker. Now there are other things to talk about. They have added two car packs to the game. Now, just like last week, they have added two car packs which have cars from the car pass. So none of these cars are new. However, if you don't have the car pass, you can get these cars in a car pack for a very cheap price, cheaper than the car pass. And I'm gonna to explain to you what the cars are now. So there is a high performance car pack and I'm going to read all of the, uh, the cars off my phone now. So it's got the 2017 Ferrari GTC4 Lusso, the 2018 Mustang GT Deberti design, the, a 1972 Lamborghini, I can't remember which one, it's an old one, 
a 2014 McLaren 650S Spider, the 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera S, the 2010 Vauxhall Insignia VXR, and the 1993 Porsche 968 Turbo S. That is all in one car pack that you can get if you don't have the car pass. I'm not sure how much it is, it's probably very cheap, but that's one of the car packs. Now the second car pack is called the Icons car pack and I'll have a picture on screen. There's a lot to read out so I'm not going to read out all of them. But it contains stuff like the Mustang GT22 Fastback, the 1965 Ford Transit, the Hillman Imp, the um, Opel Cadet and the Peel Trident all seen on screen. So that's another car pack they are bringing to the game which you can get this very update if it interests you. Now they also showed something else on screen which I'm going to show very quickly as it might interest some people. Um, this month is technically the two year anniversary for Forza Horizon 4 so they showed us some, some sort of statistics of what's happened in the past two years of Forza Horizon 4 and they showed us stuff like 314 million cars have been sold in the auto show. Just cool stats like that and they're on screen right now and something that caught my eye is if you look at the bottom only 174 people have actually maxed out their garage since they increased it to a thousand and that surprised me. I thought a lot more people would have a maxed out garage by now but turns out only 174 so that surprised me. So as for update 27 that is pretty much it. We've got the four new cars, the Chevy Impala, I don't know why that said it was new because I don't believe it is. We've got the new drag race thing that's pretty cool, the new car packs, Overall pretty cool update because the festival playlist is full of pretty cool cars. I'm not going to waste your time anymore guys. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed and let me know what you're most looking forward to in this update. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. I'll see you all later.